All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Hakudash, Shalom Yom. With Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world only calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to my apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. And I also want to say peace and blessing to the Lord's elect. All right, this is Brother Mashal. I'll come back at you with another lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Representing the Cleveland Church of Great Millstone. I want to say to Wadi, how about you, my shy, forgive me, spirit, do this lesson. And um, I'm going to title this lesson some to the sort of uh, knowing your limits or setting boundaries. Okay? And this is, um, you know, important in our walk. Okay? Because in order for, you know, us to be able to maneuver how we need to, how we need to maneuver, we need to know ourselves. Okay? And sometimes we can get we can get lost in ourselves, all right. We can we can, and start doing things that you know um, we normally don't do, okay. Because even though we're wearing this truth, you know what I'm saying. Satan, what, what Satan is always there to to uh, to um, you know to test you, you know. Because why? Because the Lord allow allows Satan to do <laughs> to do that, all right. So we have to know ourselves and what we're able to do, what we're able to maintain, what we're able to be around. All right, Elder Yashawamba um, said this years ago, you know, about, um, you know, some brothers still listen to trap music. Why? Because the spirit allows them to, you know, uh, uh, listen to it and not be affected by it. But then another brother may listen to trap music and it takes them back into the world. You see? So you have to know yourself and what you're, what you're uh, you know, ab uh, able to handle. All right, because why the scriptures say, you know, let's start off in uh, Romans, the 14th chapter. And uh, verse five, it says one man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You see, so every man has a has a uh, his own spirit. So what's so what's convenient for one man may not be convenient for another man. Okay, because we're all different, but we all have the same goal. All right, like me, I like I like jazz. I, I listen to jazz, you know, more than more than you know, rap and all that stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how I am, you know. But I can't, you know. Uh, but another brother may 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 listen to Gucci Man or whatever. I don't know, you know. But that's because that that brother's spirit is different than my spirit, you know. That's that's what that's what uh, is supping with him. You see, but we still have the same common goal, which is to get up, uh, which is to get up out of here. Now, if I had a a, a a a demon on me where every time I heard trap music, you know, I I want to go back into the streets, then I, that that means that you know I need to stay away from that. Okay, you got to know yourself. Okay, and this is what this walk does. This this walk uh, shows you. What you're capable of shows you what you need to to uh, fall back on. Shows you what you, what you need to uh, press towards. Okay, and that's the spirit telling you what you need to be doing. So let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. This is your own personal walk. So Satan's going to test you different than Satan t test another brother. You see. And Satan's not going to test you with the same thing he may tempt another brother with. Okay, because that's the job of Satan is is the is the uh, uh, entice you to do certain things. So that's why you have you have to know yourself, man. You have to know what what you need to fall back on. Know your limit. Set a boundary. You know, even <laughs> even the Lord even the Lord set boundaries with the heathen. You know, the, the, you know the scripture says that he set a boundary he cannot pass. You see. So we have to have a boundary also in order for us to be able to uh, uh, keep away from certain things. OK, because we, we if, let's go to Galatians real quick. Uh, Galatians chapter six. In uh, verse four, it says, uh, but let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Okay? Because why? Because ultimately you're going to be judged for uh, what you do. 
You see? That's why it says in James that when that when you uh you know when you're tempted, you're drawn away of your own lusts. Those things are 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 specific for you. You see? So you have to have a certain uh uh um ability to to to, to see you know what's going on, man. And what and what and what you're being lit, led towards. And that, and all that comes with experience, man. You know, the scripture talk about in Sirach, the 34th chapter, about a well a well traveled man. You 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 gain experience, man. You start to learn yourself. And as you get older, you start to, you know, uh start taking low on certain things. You know? That's all natural, man. That all comes with with with, with uh the spirit and the understanding of, of, of yourself. You see? It says, verse 5, Galatians 6, verse 5, for every man shall bear his own burden. You see, so you're, resp you're responsible for your own self, man. You see, in the NLT, verse 5, it says, for we are responsible for our own conduct. So there are, there are no excuses about what somebody else is doing. It's about what you're doing. So you have to, uh, you know, the scriptures talk about uh, set thine house in order in, in, in second is the 14th chapter. Okay, that's setting your, yourself in order, man. This is what this is the daily thing that we have to have to continue to do. Is self assessment. Am I am I am I uh, getting deeper into the truth? Am I getting a, a better understanding, or am I or, or am I just uh, 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 riding the wave? You see. Are you are you are you uh, still on that surface level, man? Or are you scuba diving, diving into the uh, the deep waters, right? The understanding. But every man has his own spirit. You see, you know. Let's go to uh, Proverbs. <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap it up here because I'm about to head to camp. Uh, Proverbs twenty five. And uh, verse 28, it says, he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. You see, so if you don't have rule over your spirit, you don't have no limits. You don't have any boundaries, man. You're just out here wilding. You see? And it's only so much covering uh, from your high bush and your shy that's, that's going to uh, uh, allow you to escape certain situations because you keep shooting your yourself in the foot and Yahweh Shai keeps healing that wound but you keep you, but you keep doing it what's gonna happen that wound is never is is uh is is always gonna be there man because you never know if, if Yahweh Shai say hey man you, why you 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 don't want to keep shooting yourself in the foot you, you're not learning you see so now I'm 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 not gonna heal that wound. Now you're walking around with a with a gunshot wound in your foot, spiritually, right? Because you 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 keep you keep relying on that wound to heal, man. Instead of you putting the gun away, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So these things have to have to continue. It's it's a continual operation. It's a continual process, man. You know, the scripture talking about examining thyself, whether whether that you be in the faith. So a, a certain level of examination, you know what I'm saying? Has to happen. Now, there's nothing wrong with letting, you know what I'm saying, letting your hair down and all that stuff like that, you know? But, you know, we don't, we don't want to bring blame to the ministry also, man. You see? So it's it's always a, that that fine line we got to walk. All right, let's go to Ephesians because we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, Ephesians uh, five and fifteen. It says, "See then that ye work circumspectly, not as fools, but wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil." You see, so you, we have to walk circumspectly, man. Not as fools, but wise, because the days are evil, man. So you never know what, you know, you, you, you may not, you not be set up to, to go out every weekend, right? 
And the Lord may have, have, have given you a uh, little nuggets to say, hey, man, stay your ass in the house, man. But you, which, but what? You want to do your own thing. You want to walk on your own accord. Until what? Something happens. You see? Because the Lord is not a, a respecter of persons, man. You, 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 it don't matter who you are. You have to have a, a certain level of self-control. All right. Verse 17, it says, therefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. You see. So you have to understand what the will of the Lord is, man. And knowing that 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 in this truth, you got to you got to cut certain things off, man. You got to you got to, uh, uh, you know, not let loose. You see. Showing some sort of restraint, you know, let's get this word restraint real quick. Uh, look at the item online for the word restraint. A restraint noun, it says act of holding back, an action or motion. A check, a hindrance. You see? And, and, and this truth is supposed to hinder us from doing, uh, 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 going overboard with certain stuff, man. Okay, we're supposed to be put in check. Okay, we're supposed to be a prisoner. Now, there's nothing wrong with enjoying the, the fruits of, of our of your labor, right? King Solomon told us that in in, uh, in Ecclesiastes, you know. But we don't we don't want to do it to the point where you know you just you just going all out, man, right? Embarrassing yourself. You know, because me personally, I don't, I, don't, I, 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 I always hang in the shadows, man. <laughs> I hate being put on the spot. I hate being the center of attention. I'm always laying. I, I, I'll take the loan on everything. You see? But some, but certain brothers, they, they spirit ain't like that, man. They like the attention. They like to, you know, be noticed. All right, but there's certain, there's certain levels to this, you know, to, uh, to that, man. Okay, so we got to show a certain level of restraint. Um, going back to Ephesians five and um, uh, uh, verse 18, it says, and be not drunk with wine wherein, wherein is access, but be filled with the spirit. You see, and that, and that goes into, you know, knowing, uh, uh, you know, having a certain level of restraint with, with, with alcohol also, man, you know, being a, a, a drunkard, you know, the, 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 uh, the Pharisee tried to call you, uh, 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 a drunkard. What is what is what is, what was the word? Um, he didn't, it wasn't a drunker, but I forgot what the specific word was. Uh, Slakia, but if a brother know, you can post on the uh, comment board, Baba Kasha. A wine wine bibber. That's the Wadi Abushi A wine bibber. All right. That's not a good thing, you know what I mean? So you it, it, even with, with alcohol, you got to show a certain level of restraint because even in the Apocrypha, um, it's Iraq 31. It's Iraq 31 and verse 27. It says, wine is as good as life to a man if it be drunken, if it, if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man that is without wine for it was make it was made to make men glad see wine is a, is a is a uh, is a is a good thing man okay hey, the, hey, even even Yahweh Shai turned water to wine that was his first he, that was his first miracle you see but it's going to go into what what happens when you overdo it when you have when you, when you, don't, when you don't set a certain limit a boundary right Verse 28, it says, wine measurably, measurably drunk and in, and in season bring of gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. OK, wine measurably drunk. See, too much of a too much of anything could be a, is a bad thing, man. You know, even even with the scriptures, the scripture says to be not over much righteous. Why should why should destroy thyself? Right. In Proverbs, it tells you, you know, to, to eat uh, not uh, not too much honey lest you throw it up. Or vomit it, you see. So it's all you always have to set a a a a, a limit, a boundary. 
right? Verse 29, it says, but wine drunken with access make a bitterness of the mind with brawling and, qu and quarreling. You see? See, so wine drunken with access, man, not knowing, not knowing your limit. Okay, and, that, and this is just going back into Ephesians, uh, the fifth chapter. Okay, so knowing your limit, setting a boundary, having showing restraint, having rule over your spirit. All these things are you, you being a man and putting a, a, a limit, man. You know? It's just, it's just like going to, to the casino, right? And if you if you if you plan it to you know all right I'm a I'm gonna spend fifty dollars let me see if I can you know make something flip real quick the next thing you know you 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 lose your fifty dollars you're like man I'm about to win this fifty dollars back let me let me let me bet another fifty dollars and then next thing you know you you don't you don't lost your mortgage on your house man why because you 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 didn't set a limit man see setting a limit is going into the, a, a, a casino and with fifty dollars in cash and leaving your bank card in the car you see that's that's setting a boundary. All right, so we got to set limits, man. All right, so Lord, one us with edifying. I want to give all honor and glory and infinite worship to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles, elders, bishops, great millstone, who rule well. Till next time I say, Shalom.